Hey everyone, my name is Mary. Welcome back to my channel, Mama Bear Prepper. Y'all, I have a haul for you guys. I went to Walmart and Sam's Club, as you might have seen in my previous video or the one I'm going to put out after this. I'm really not sure what order it will all be in. But y'all, I'm going to try to make this quick tonight because I am sick with a cold. I don't feel good. I want to um, go lay down and get some rest. But I want to show you this haul so I can go ahead and put it away. Um, so let's try to get this done as quickly as possible. Before we get started, I do want to show you guys my Jace case. You know, I did that video. I will link it right up here if you have missed it. Talking about the antibiotics that you can get through a board certified doctor online. You know, board certified doctors prescribe the medicine to you and you get it mail to you in the mail very quickly. It's very easy. It's a very easy process. You just answer a few questions and you go from there. Um, so this is the case. I want to show you guys, this is the case. You know, I showed you everything. I showed you all my antibiotics I was prescribed. This is all the antibiotics they give y'all. They give you a good variety because, you know, you might need a different antibiotic for, um, a different kind of infection, you know, but they sent me the case, you know, cause they were, they were having some supply chain issues, you know, like really who is not having supply chain issues right now. Um, so I finally got the case. Look how beautiful that case is. I really like the color. That's a really nice case. It comes with a handle. It fits all of my antibiotics in here, you know, as you can see right here, <laughs> my Jace medical, my Jace case antibiotics I have all that. But this is the booklet, y'all. Look how cool this booklet is. So, you know, when you have questions and when you come across an emergency where you need these antibiotics, this is your emergency antibiotic guide from Jace Medical. Um, you know, it's a very nice book. It's very easy to read. You know, it's very straightforward. You know, this is your contents by the drug. Okay. So, like say the amoxicillin right here, this is used to treat, you know, bite wounds, pneumonia, and so on and so on. The same with this one. I can't pronounce all these names. So, you know, if you want to take a look, there you go. But, um, so you can do the contents by drug. And also, they have the contents by condition. Okay? So, like, right here, nausea, vomiting, the medication right here. Um, pneumonia. This is the medication. Sinusitis. Skin infection. Traveler's diarrhea, you know, just to name a very few, and the list goes on and on. Okay, so right here, look at the first one the amoxicillin. Okay, you just, uh, you know, read the warnings about it, read um, the facts about the drug, um, bite wounds. It just tells you directions, like, you know, take one tablet by mouth twice per day to prevent infection, continue for three to five days. Um, to treat an infection, continue for a minimum of five days up to 14 days to treat an infection or to prevent an infection, okay, for bite wounds, uh, pneumonia, sinusitis, y'all, this is, you know, really good information to have here. Then in the back, they have a little note section. So, you know, if you do have to take a medicine, you know, write down the days that you take it and make sure you write down the time you took it so you can make sure you keep in track of the correct dosage that you need and for however many days. So this book, look, is like the size of my hand. It fits in this case so good. I mean, perfectly. <laughs> look at that. It's just, it's perfect. I'm going to go ahead and zip it up. And there, I have my emergency antibiotics from Jace Medical. All right, so I will be sure to leave a link to Jace Medical down below in my description box. So be sure to look for that. Y'all, it's 100% legal. It's founded by a board-certified doctor. And board-certified doctors prescribe the antibiotics to you. The kit comes with five antibiotics. This case I just showed you in the antibiotic guide booklet, as I just showed you also. Y'all... <laughs> Talk about an awesome, awesome thing to have for emergencies. You just never know what tomorrow holds, and you just never know what situation you might find yourself in. You know, seriously, you just don't know. And, um, you know, 
each customer, they go through a consultation in the antibiotics are prescribed directly to them. So, you know, it's not a matter of if, but when, <laughs> when would you need something like this? Because y'all, you know, if you're keeping track of the news and how things are going and, you know, it's just scary times we live in, you know, and this brings so much peace of mind, you know, I just, I'm so glad to have this. So thank you, Jace Medical. I am loving my kit. Um, and y'all, also, you know, if you have kids 12 years and older, they can get their own Jace Medical kit too. So you can try to get one for each member of your family as long as they're 12 years and older. Um, I think that is just, y'all, it's, it's a really good thing. It can, it can literally save your life. Um, in a bad situation where you cannot, for whatever reason, can't go to the emergency room or find a doctor, you know, for antibiotics. If you have an infection of some kind, this right here, you have it in your own home and, you know, you just follow the directions in the booklet and there you go. <laughs> you know, you can save your life or your kid's life with something like this. So I highly recommend having something like this. I mean, I just cannot, I just cannot stress it enough, y'all. That is, you know, I'm making sure I'm going to put that in a safe place where I know it's going to be and where I know it will stay and it will be there for when we need it. Not if, but when we need it. All right, so that's my Jace case from Jace Medical. I will be sure to leave a link for that down below in the description box. Y'all, go on over, click that link, go check it out. Read, they have all sorts of information on there. You know, they tell you what's going on in the world today. Um, you know, they're really... They're, they're with the program, y'all. They know what's going on and, you know, the importance of having something like this. You know, if you're a prepper, well, anybody for the matter, but if you're a prepper and you know, <laughs> I mean, you know the kind of world we live in, you just, you get it, then, you know, you can obviously see on their website that they get it also. And that's why they made the Jace case. All right, and for the haul, you guys, let's go ahead and get this started. I went to Walmart and Sam's Club. Um, so let's just quickly go through this and I'll show you what I got. So the first thing I got over here was a large thing of the community coffee decaf. Um, I got some of this um, granola, the Nature Valley granola protein oats and honey. This is so good in my oatmeal. Like that's the only thing I really <laughs> put it in is my oatmeal. I bought some tortilla strips, um, you know, for some homemade chicken tortilla soup. But y'all, honestly, I've been too lazy to cook it. So I've been eating the Campbell's, um, the chunky Campbell's. Um, chicken tortilla soup and we had me and my daughter we had that the other night and we used some of these tortilla strips so that's why I had to buy another one of these it was so so good and y'all for this one I've never tried before but I've also never seen it this is the garlic pepper crispy onions a salad topper um I figured we'll give this a try we love salads and we like to have some crunchy stuff in our salads so we're gonna give that a try um sorry if my voice sounds hoarse. It's just, you know, I have a sore throat. My nose is congested. <laughs> I need to go lay down. Um, okay, croutons, two bags of croutons. We love us some croutons. And this is, um, this one I found, actually I found this at the local grocery store. Um, not Walmart, but um, this, it's probably at Walmart. I don't know, but this is a crispy jalapeno. And it's for salads, burgers, and roasted potatoes. So I figured we'll try that in our salads also. And also at that local grocery store, I was so happy to find some jerky. They got the elk, bison, they got the venison, and this is some um, Wyoming authentic Angus beef jerky. Y'all, the only time I've ever seen these right here was at a um, a beef jerky store in Tennessee um, that I went to last year. It was just nothing but beef jerky, <laughs> different weird flavors of beef jerky. And I had gotten these flavors, and they are so, so good. I love some jerky, y'all. So this is the Chipotle elk, hickory smoked bison, and the hickory smoked venison. Talk about good. This brand I've never seen before, but I'm going to give that a try. I love some jerky. <laughs> okay, this I got at Walmart. This is the Power Crunch um, s'mores flavored. These are like protein bars. Well, not, I mean, I don't know. It wasn't by the health protein bars, like by the protein um, powders and stuff like that in the health section. This was just by the cereal section. 
but they're called protein energy bars. This is the s'mores flavor. I have never had this before, but I figured I would give them a try. This is the nutrition facts if you would like to pause it and read it. Um, so for every cookie, it's like 220 calories and 13 grams of protein. Um, total sugar is 5 grams. I figured I would give it a try. I'm always looking for something different, you know, different things to try. Over here, I got... This is new. Yeah, okay. As I say, this is new. Yeah, it is new. Um, I was wondering why i never seen it before. But um, sour cream and onion twisted pretzel sticks. I don't know. It just it caught my attention, and I have to try it. As you can see, I also bought the Cheez-Its, but these are like the puff um, cheesy air and fluffy ones. My daughter already opened it, as you can see. <laughs> so that's our snacks. Um, over here, I bought some more snacks. Y'all, these are really good. Um, I like to keep this in my purse, you know, for when you're on the go and you just, you want a snack or you just, you know, you're getting hungry and you don't want to stop and get fast food. I keep this in my purse all the time. Actually, I keep several packs of this in my purse because me and my daughter will, we use these all the time. But these are the 100 calorie packs of the cashews and almonds with dried cranberries. Um, these are really, really good. We enjoy these. I keep this in my purse all the time. I got some of this Sazon Goya seasoning packets right here. I like to cook with this. This is really, really good. I, I'll put that on my chicken or steaks. Mm, talk about really good. Okay, more of the... Y'all, I'm going to start making my own... <laughs> I'm going to start making my own ranch dressing with these um, Hidden Valley Ranch packets. It is really, really good so good <laughs> okay um over here at walmart i bought one of these little scrubbing um uh what do you call it like a scrubbing wand brush where you can put the dish soap in here but i'm not going to use this for dishes i want to use this actually i want to keep it in my shower so when i take a shower i can clean my shower as i'm in there um i got that tip from someone online <laughs> so what i'm going to put in here is i'm think I'm going to do like a mixture of vinegar, white vinegar with some Dawn dish soap, blue Dawn dish soap, um, mix it up in there. So when I'm in the shower, I can just easily scrub my um, shower walls in the tub and rinse it out as I'm in there. I think it will make it a whole lot easier um, to clean my shower, which is a serious pain in the butt. So I figured why not give this a try? Um, it, it might work out better, you know, for me to keep my shower clean, you know, and to want to keep it clean because it'll just be very easy as I'm in there, you know. And for these, I really necessarily did not need them, but I wanted them because the pretty blue, y'all, that's like one of my favorite shades of blue right here. Um, it's some ice cube trays. And actually, no, I take that back. I could use some more ice cube trays. I only have two. Um, so I could, you know, yeah, I could use two more. Why not? Okay, over here, the pest traps. You know, we really don't have a mouse or rat problem around here where I live, but spiders, <laughs> I have more of a spider problem than anything. So this, um, I like to keep around my food pantry. So I will be putting these up in my food pantry. I'll, you know, I'm going to take down the old ones and see what they caught, you know, what kind of spiders, big old scary spiders they caught, throw those away and then, um, put up some more y'all these work so good and I would highly recommend this to put in your prepper pantry you know put it on the floor put it all around your food because if you know if you do suffer with you know mouse mice and rats near you this could you know catch those mice and rats before they ruin your food supply so this would be like an overlooked prepper item I would think a lot of people overlook and y'all, it's um, just a safe glue traps. It's no chemicals, you know, non-toxic. They work for, look, snakes, um, crickets, spiders, roaches, scorpions, mice, all sorts of stuff. But me personally, I, I like to use them for spiders. <laughs> That's the only thing I find around here is spiders. Okay, over here, I got two cans of the Hormel tamales um, beef and chili sauce. We do like those, so I got two more of those. I got three of the cooked ham in a can. I haven't really been seeing this lately at Walmart, so they had more in stock, so that's why I got three this time. Over here, I got two, four cans of the diced ham, two cans of the spam turkey, and then I got two cans of the great northern beans. Y'all, I seen on Ashley and Amy's channel, Martin Midlife Misadventures. 
she used a can of the northern beans and a can of the a little a, half the can of the turkey spam and she made y'all this recipe looks so good so i have to <laughs> i'm gonna have to try it very very soon um i've been thinking about that ever since i need to try it there their bean recipe and, um, and see how I like it because y'all, I love me some beans. So any new recipe I would like to try and theirs looks so good. All right, over here, I bought a whole bunch of muffin mixes. These are like, how much? Like around a dollar at Walmart. I got two of the banana nut muffins, two of the strawberries, and then four of the chocolate chip ones. Y'all, these are so good. I got a box of brownies. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Y'all, that is so good. Okay, let me go ahead and show you guys this over here. Um, I went to Sam's Club also. So I got a big thing of ginger ale. Um, we do like ginger ale around here. Minced onion. I do a lot of cooking with this. <laughs> so I had to buy another big container because my container I'm on is like, I think like right here. And I want to make sure I have it for when I do run out. Um, Y'all, my prim Premier Protein Shakes. I love these. Um, I kind of stopped drinking them for a while so I need to get back to drinking them I do miss them it's just I don't know I just I guess I need a little break from it but the ones I do like I forgot the name of it oh what's the name of it um I can't think of the name but they do not have those in Sam's Club um so I'm gonna have to look on Sam's Club.com and see if I can order them y'all I got a big thing of the um brisk iced tea I haven't had this in a long time, but I did have this at the air show. You know, I do have a video of the air show, the New Orleans air show. If you want to go on my channel and look at that, you know, go to my videos maybe like a week or two ago. And I had a brisk tea there. And I'm like, oh, that's so good. I haven't had one of those in so long. So I bought a whole case of this because summer's around the corner. Fill up a glass full of ice and then put one of these in there. Mm, talk about good. I bought two big bags of 25 pound bags each of the long grain white rice at Sam's Club. You know, um, we're going to have food shortages. Biden even admitted that the United States will face food shortages. Um, so I got two big bags of that. Be on the lookout soon. <coughs> Excuse me, I need to get some drink. Y'all have some cold coffee in here. Mm. I found me a good cold brew um, coffee recipe that I can make myself at home. Talk about good. I might have to show you guys that at the end of my next haul. Like, I'll put it on the very end to show y'all if y'all like coffee. That is good. And I never really liked cold coffee before, but that is so good. Anyways, sorry, y'all. I'm just rambling on. <laughs> but I will have a video coming up soon. Um, well, probably whenever I start feeling better and I feel up to it, but I'm going to put that rice into some Mylar bags. But I think this time I'm going to do it a little bit different um, to amp up my prepping. You know, I usually like to put them in like at least up to like a one gallon Mylar size bag, you know, and have several of those. So I'm not opening a big one at once, you know, and have it open. So I think this time... <laughs> to try like really stack it away and get it going even more is I'm just going to put each bag into a big old five gallon bucket with a five gallon miler bag. I think I'm just going to do it like that, you know, just because I need to get it and put it away as soon as possible, you know, to protect it and put it in that miler bag and just, you know, put it away and forget it until we need it. And y'all, we will end up needing it, how things are looking, you know, just give it time, it's not a matter of if, but when, okay, um, over here, I also got another bag of the pickling and canning salt, I am starting to, you know, do my own canning at home, I've been canning some chicken, next, I would like to can some ground meat, so, you know, I, I have videos of me canning my chicken, if you want to look on that, I have a, um, a playlist of, me canning meat. <laughs> I'll continue to add that playlist as I can. So if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. I have all sorts of playlists on different prepping topics. You know, go look at it. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe, please. All right. And over here, I have um, a case of the pint-sized jars. You know, I'm, I'm already needing more jars to can with. I got two things of coffee, um, Keurig cups for my Keurig coffee maker. The, y'all, the McDonald's coffee is my favorite, absolute favorite. And then Javalia, I haven't had that in a long time. Okay, and so over here, I got a thing of the caramel syrup. 
that we'll use for ice cream. And I would also like to put this in my cold coffee and see how it comes out. Okay, now I bought some instant coffee from the Nescafe Classico, you know, dark roast. I bought a thing of the Hellman's Light Mayonnaise. Y'all, I did not want to pay <laughs> um, so much for this. I think it was like three something for this small little jar. And in my previous video, I was, you know, I filmed the prices of the different brands of mayonnaise. And I seen one, it was a light mayonnaise. It was, um, forgot the brand, but it's the brand I always get. And it was a lot cheaper than this small jar of light mayonnaise. So I, I just wasn't paying close attention in the store. But I did see that as I was editing that video of me, you know, going shopping to make donations to my local food pantry. If you'd like to check that out, I will be sure to leave that at the end of this video and or in the description box down below. So be on the lookout for that if you'd like to see that. Um, I got another thing of peanut butter, a thing of pickles, ketchup, barbecue sauce, mustard. And y'all, I've never seen this before. Mayo chup. Mayo chup. <laughs> Like ketchup and mayonnaise mixed together, I guess. I mean, I do like me some mayonnaise and ketchup mixed together for, you know, to dip fries in or chicken nuggets or whatever. I think it's really good. All right, y'all. So that does it for this video. I'm just going to go ahead and probably leave all this out. I don't even feel like putting it up tonight. <laughs> it's getting late and I just want to go to bed because I don't feel good. But I do have more hauls coming soon, you know, continuing to try to stock up. You know, especially with food shortages coming, um, y'all do what you can, get what you can right now, stock it up because when people catch on <laughs> to that, we are going to face food shortages, you know, it's going to get crazy in those stores. So you want to try to get prepared ahead of time, you know, get all your shopping done ahead of time. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Um, especially with your grains, you know, like your rice, that's why I bought two big bags of the rice at Sam's Club. I would like to go back and get more. Um, Y'all, not to be greedy, but you got to take care of your family. And, you know, it's not just me and my daughter. It's other family I have too, you know. Um, so it's not me being greedy. Don't think that for a second. But you need to put your family first. I'm going to put my family first. And I would expect you to put your family first too. Like I would expect no less of you especially if you're a parent to a small kid. You know, you don't want your kid to go hungry at night, do you? Put you and your family first. Do what you can. I know not everybody can afford it. I know it's very, very hard. It's difficult. I know. Trust me. I know. I would, yeah. So I just hope you guys are just going to put you and your family first. Do what you need to do. Step up. Make sure your kids don't go hungry because y'all, stuff is about to get real. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming really quick, okay? Um, you know, I just, I don't know what else to tell y'all. I know most people get it. And if you don't get it by now, there's not much more I can say in order for you to understand and get it. All right, y'all, it's late. I'm going to go to bed. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Turn on the bell notification so every time I upload a new video, you're notified. And I thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Take care, you guys, and keep on prepping. Oh, and like I said, I'll have that Jace case kit down below linked in my description box for Jace Medical. Y'all go to the website, check them out, just hear what they got to say, read all about them. They're a legitimate company and y'all is, I just can't stress <laughs> how great it is to have your own antibiotics on hand for when you need them, you know, because you never know when you can't make it to the doctors, you know. Or go get a prescription. You know, you don't know what tomorrow holds. You know, for whatever unforeseen circumstance you might find yourself in where you can't go do that. Having something, having something like this in your home already for you, y'all, <laughs> it, it, it's like the best thing in the whole world. That's like one of the best preps, okay? All right, y'all. Have a good night. Take care.